Hello everybody, this is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship. Thank you for joining me on the Ranch Road. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about oh, kind of a phrase that I'm sure most, most of you have probably heard. It's been a while since I'd heard it, but I'd heard it again the other day, and as soon as I heard the phrase, I immediately thought of the horsemanship, of course. And um, the phrase, of course, is this. It's roots and wings, right? Roots and wings. And as soon as I heard it, I immediately thought to myself that that is so applicable to our everyday lives that we have to have an awareness and an appreciation of our roots. And that is taught to us by those around us, obviously, most importantly, and probably our family. And then later, of course, uh, you know, our other support networks, teachers, churches, you name it. In other words, that becomes part of who we are and I think it's very important for us to know who we are because that is our foundation that is our roots whenever we're working with horses I also think that it's so incredibly important that we establish in them their roots in other words they already know that they're horses and all the other kind of good stuff but yet in our world that horse and who they are really becomes who we've developed them to be, how we've helped them learn to adapt and get along in our world, whatever that world may be. In other words, if you're a performance horse trainer, then that horse needs to learn how to get along really well in that performance horse world. If we trail ride, then that horse needs to learn to get along both at his home setting but also on the trail rides. Uh, if he's just your backyard horse, this that horse that just really gives you joy then we have to teach him how to get along in such a way that it does in fact bring you joy. All of those things are your foundation. That is the foundation of what makes that horse what it is. The other side of that is the wing side. Our parents and our, those in our support network don't train us and don't allow us to have that foundation, don't help us develop that foundation so that we can be dependent on them forever. And the same exact thing happens with our horses. Now, granted, once our horse is domesticated, yes, he is somewhat dependent on you. He's dependent on you to feed him and nurture him and take care of him and all of those things. But yet, so many of the problems that I hear from people that I've got a problem horse or he does this and I do that. And, but also, when I, when I stand back and I watch, the horse is almost always a reflection of the lack of foundation or the micromanagement of the rider whether or not that rider knows what they're doing or not too many times I see the horse I see the people working with the horses that have this almost fear of letting go of setting their horse up to be successful and then yet having the courage to let them go and it's not that they're afraid the horse is not gonna make it they're afraid that what the horse does is gonna have an impact on them. But the reality is the importance of and the recognition of that roots and wings. We, in our own personal lives, it's so important for us to have those people in our lives. And once we get to that point to where we're no longer in control of those, or those people being in control of us, so to speak, and helping us develop that, we have to su surround ourselves with that support mechanism so that we do have that really good strong foundation and or that reminder of that foundation on a daily basis so that we don't necessarily be dependent on those people at all but instead we come to grow and be very much stronger as an individual and it's that stage in life that when we grow more as an individual that we offer now that opportunity to offer that foundation to others other people for other people you can be their support mechanism for your horses, it's the exact same way. In order for you to be that really good support mechanism to your horse, you have to be knowledgeable and experienced. And I, ch I challenge you guys to seek that knowledge and seek that experience out. But not so that you can micromanage your horse, but so that you are better equipped to set your horse up to be successful so that with every ride that you do, every task that you ask your horse to do, that you can set them up and then let them have the wings to to go out on their own on that particular maneuver, that particular exercise, whatever it may be. If they do it great, super. Leave them alone and let them continue to help have those wings. 
If they don't do it great, now be their support mechanism to where you simply just guide them back and be a part of both their roots as well as their wings. Nonetheless, I hope this hope that helped you a little bit today, and I know that may be a little bit deep for some of you, um, but it's it's something that's been on my mind ever since I heard that phrase again just recently, and I kind of wanted to share that with you and, and hope that you can use those re roots and wings to help you be successful and help you help your horse be successful. Until next time, this is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship.